Esteban Ocon might be Mercedes' reserve driver, but he's not just there to hang around. When you see Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas winning Grand Prix, it's easy to focus on their contribution to the team's success. But with track time at a premium during race weekends, Esteban's contribution is vital. We caught up with him as he indulged in another of his passions, rock climbing. You know, I feel, I feel you know, proud of what we have achieved so far. Still a, a long way to go, you know, to, to win the championships, but uh, my part has been working um, well, you know, working hard in the simulator, uh, assisting to all the debrief, helping the team as much as I can on that. They had a lot of answers, obviously, from, from our part in the simulator, so it's a, it's a good thing because the team are happy, they think uh, it helps and definitely keeps me fresh, you know, because uh, I keep uh, keep driving so much and keep driving those uh, those nice cars, even if it's virtual. Uh, the simulator nowadays are very close to the real uh, real car. Maybe some people don't quite understand how the simulator work interacts with the track work. So maybe you can talk a little bit more about how that plays into the preparation for the weekend. So what's happening basically? So we are on the simulator. We are waiting for the guys after FP1 and FP2 uh, to send us all the, um, the test item they want uh, you know, to test because they didn't have enough running basically to, uh, uh, to do all the test item they want and they always want more which is normal. So we do the running overnight um, and then you know, on the following morning I do a report, the guys in the sim do a report and then the guys at the track are ready for FP3, they decide which setup they want to take and uh, they have more information for qualifying and normally more performance. There are many drivers, you know, that didn't race for a year and then uh, came back and came back strong. Uh, Fernando was one of them, Felipe Massa, I heard. Uh, Nico Hülkenberg was one of them also. So hopefully um, I will be back next year and be back strong. If I had to jump tomorrow in a car, I would be ready. You know, I didn't. Uh, stop once uh, thinking about it. It's always always been uh, my target to come back. Um, I've been you know, working hard for many, many years and having sacrifices in my life. And uh, you know, if there is no F1, I, don't, I think my life is in standby. You know? So that's the only thing that, uh, that matters for me and that's uh, you know, the thing I push for every day. I think it's good to have a lot of you know, abilities in different sports. You know? It can always bring you something and that's how my coach see it as well. And uh, yeah, my place where I train is in the Pyrenees. So of course, the mountain, you always have great spot to do all those things. And, um, and yeah, he says it helps and I, I think yeah, it does. Climbing is uh, it's very important for the, the forearms, basically. So you need, you need to have a good strength in a Formula One car to turn the steering. Uh, you need to be very precise and that's a bit the same in climbing. So you need strong forearm, um, precise movements. And also the coordination is quite important, so the vision, the decision you take and the coordination with your, your feet, your eye and your hands. So there's quite a few things that are very similar to a, to a Formula 1 car or a racing car and um, yeah, that definitely helps. When you were karting, is it true that your dad used to route around in bins to get the tyres that your rivals have just used once. Can you tell yeah, us a little bit more about that? How do you know that? <laughs> Psychic. Okay, okay. Tell us about it. Yeah, um, yeah, for training sometimes we didn't have uh, you know, enough money to buy new sets of tyres and the other ones, you know, while they were training, uh, they were having new sets. So, And they were, you know, putting the set after one or two runs, so we were getting those from the bin. It was still warm, my dad was putting in on the rims and we were just running, so yeah, that's how we, we managed to, uh, to get quite a few days of running um, and yeah, it's been a lot of sacrifice, but I mean, most, most of them were, were coming from my parents, they were believing in me and, uh, and yeah, I'm pleased they've done that because, um, you know, I arrived here at, at the moment and um, you know, already arriving here is, uh, is a, quite an achievement and um, you know, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty pleased they did that.